Hello, I'm Billy. Finally, I'm back with the Q&A video. And first of all, thank you so much for your questions and comments. Uh, I got over 100 questions and comments over a, over a week, so I was really thrilled to see them. And most of you guys asked me about how to learn English, especially British English. So I've made another video about learning British English, so please check out another video about learning English. So let's get started. Um, the first one is Insujin-nim, Jae-yun-nim, Choe-yejin-nim, A-Justino, Shin Su-jung-nim. Uh, they asked me about my major. So I majored in International Studies at Gyeonggi University and I also took uh, classes about journalism and communication because I was also interested in journalism and communication. And uh, when I was in the UK as an exchange student, I took three classes. Uh, one of them was about uh, international business, and two of them were about broadcast journalism, so radio journalism and broadcast journalism. And that was really great experience. Mm. And next one, Kim Suji Nim, oh, would you be my boyfriend? <laughs> Bracket seriously. Oh, oh, thank you so much. And. Um, Kim Suji Nim and Song Nun Son Nim. Oh, they asked me about my Korean name. My Korean name is Song Jae Kong, so it's Kong Song Jae. So when I was in the UK, uh, lots of my British classmates struggled to call my name because they pronounce like Seong Jae, Song Jae, Sang Jae, like blah. But I think like Korean names are like quite hard to pronounce for foreigners, right? And next one, let's see. Yi Kagyong Nim, Jisan Nim, Deborah Lee asked me how I started to learn British English and what was the most fascinating part about British culture to me. So I mentioned before I started to learn British English because I got really interested in British culture. For me, I also like British TV shows and British films, British pops, British music, I really like them. But other than that, I also like the architecture in Britain because it's so different from Korean one, right? And the buildings are really delicate and it's like modern and traditional like at the same time. So I really like the architecture and buildings in the United Kingdom. Uh, next one, Raifka, right? Raifka. He asked me if I have ever listened to Stephen Fry's English Delight series. I haven't listened to it actually, so after reading this question, I googled it and listened to one episode and I found it really really nice. Why didn't I know this one? I would really recommend you guys to listen. It's about English, so I think you would find it really interesting and helpful as well. Next one is Yi Eunsol Nim. Uh, do you study any other foreign languages? Yes, I do. Uh, I study Japanese. I think you you saw I speak in Japanese, right? And I also studied a little bit of French. So all I know is like Bonjour, je suis belle, uh, je suis cochon, je vingt quatre ans, like that. So terrible. So next one, Kim Yunjin Nim, In Sujin Nim, Yi Tisu Nim. How I started YouTube. Uh, I'm really interested in broadcasts, so I wanted to make my own broadcasts and I want to work as a broadcast journalist in the future, so after my graduation I could have my own time, own free time to make my own videos, so that's how I started my YouTube. And I think of it as like studying and practicing for my future like broadcast job. Next one, Tong Yi-seon Nim. Chu Yongjin Nim, Wu Jiun Nim. Uh, they asked me how do I decide the subjects about the YouTube videos. Mm. So when I try to make videos, I just try to think of what I can do and what I know enough to tell you about like new stories. So English is one of the things I know like more than other Korean people. So I usually choose English subjects. And other than that, I'm quite interested in what's going on in Korea and what's going on in the world. So I would definitely make more videos about English, especially British English. And other than that, I will, I will also make various kinds of videos like what's happening in the world and what's happening in Korea. So I really hope uh, you guys would love my future videos.
Thank you. And next one. Kundal the Pie Man, Kim Hyung Nim. Uh, they asked me, do I plan to go back to the UK again? Yes, I would definitely want to go back to the UK. And actually, I want to uh, do a master's degree there and study broadcast journalism because I want to work as a broadcast journalist in the future and hopefully maybe in the UK but the budget always matters so I think I should find the right timing to go to the UK again I really hope so and next one is Kimberly Young she asked me do I have I ever been to America and if not do I plan to uh, I've, I've, I have never been to America yet, uh, but I really love to. Like, America looks also like really interesting to me, and it is such a big continent, right? So, I really want to explore like America and see how it is. Especially I want to go to New York, Manhattan. It's like the typical city area, right? I really want to experience that uh, modern and city area. Okay, and next one. Polly Plates, Cho Yun, Cho Yun Nim, Jung Young Ho Nim. Uh, they asked me uh, which area in the UK I lived uh, as an exchange student. I lived in Preston. Do you know Preston? Maybe I'll, I'll show you this. Yep. Can you see this one? Yep. So it's in the northwest of England. Uh, it's like in bet it's like between Manchester and Liverpool. So most of my classmates were Scousers. So <laughs> so I could learn a lot about Scouts. It was like totally different from London. So I really liked it. People were really nice. Um, the university there was there was really nice. I went to University of Central Lancashire in Preston. So I really enjoyed my life there. Mm. And nextly, Polly Plates uh, also asked me, do I have a favourite area in the UK? Well, my favourite city in the UK was actually London. Yeah, it still is London. As I mentioned, it's like traditional and modern at the same time and all the buildings were really beautiful and delicate. So. I really liked London. Hmm, London's really nice. But I think like each city has its own characteristic. Like Chester is like really Roman city. Um, Manchester is like huge industrial city. Uh, Liverpool is such a nice poor city. So I like every city, but still London is my favorite. Our next one is Ghost in the Red Heart asked me, uh, where would you most like to visit in the UK? So when I was there, I couldn't. Uh, go to Wales and Ireland, so I would definitely love to visit Cardiff and Dublin, Belfast when I go back there again. And uh, let's go to the next one. Yi Chang Hee Nim uh, asked me about uh, any places to travel in the UK. I think you'll definitely visit uh, London and uh, Edinburgh as a uh, because they are capital cities. Uh, other than that, uh, I would recommend Chester to travel because it's really, really historic city and it's really exotic to me. I would recommend visiting Chester, okay? Uh, next one is Why Jew asked me, is there any racial discrimination in the UK? Uh, I didn't experience any like racial discrimination. I don't know, I think British people are quite used to like multicultural society. So I don't think you should worry about this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and next one. Lazy Paul B. What's your favorite uh, British celebrities and or like singers and actors? I really like Adele. Like I first listened to her song uh, when I was a high school student and I got really, really fascinated. And I also like George Ezra. Do you know him? Mm, I really like his voice. His quite young but his voice is really like husky and really really fascinating so I really like him. And next one is Oh Young Nim uh, could you please tell me the secret of my skin? <laughs> well I actually wear light makeup before like filming this video for your eyes right for better presentation. And next one Alejandro uh, asked me what kind of accent do I have? I think uh, my accent is like quite mixed because I didn't live in a certain area for a long time so I haven't got any like particular accent I guess and in the videos 
I think like video is like a broadcast, so I try to use standard British English. Uh, next one, Cho Yong In Nim. Uh, which would you choose, extra noodle or dumplings for Miu Mian? <laughs> so, I would definitely choose uh, extra noodles because I really like noodles. Mm, thank you. <laughs> Uh, next one is Luke Nim. Some people say uh, British English is quite different from American English, so some people would need translators for that. What do you think? Uh, I think some British accents are really thick, so some Americans don't really understand British English. Even like on TV, like when journalists interview someone with really thick British accents, they show the subtitles like while they are talking. And next one is uh, Michelle. Michelle, uh, do you think it's possible for a foreigner to learn Korean by himself? Well, I heard Korean is one of the most difficult languages to learn. So I think the most important thing is like to get interested in that language. Because if you are interested in one language, you would definitely keep your eyes on that language. And I think it's possible, but it's. I think it's a little bit difficult because there are not many learning materials. So I wouldn't say it's impossible. I think that's possible. So if someone tries really hard, that would be definitely possible. Mm, thank you. And next one, Scribnim. Uh, do you ever speak English with other Korean people? Uh, I don't really. I don't think so. I don't really speak English in ordinary lives in Korea. But only when I practice English with Korean people. So I think like Koreans would find it really creepy when Korean people speak in English, right? So I don't really speak in English in Korea, but only when I need to. And next one, Park Nim. Do you want to collaborate with other YouTubers? Yes, I would definitely love to. So YouTubers, please feel free to contact me. Yeah, contact me, please. And next one, Huang Songjie Nim, Edward Huang Nim. How do British guys flirt with British girls? I think it's like, I think it's same, you know. But uh, I think British guys are more like outgoing and expressive, I guess. So I think I thought like I would have to learn from British guys because I would I would have been really shy to flirt with British girls, right? Mm. Yeah, and next one. Kim Hong Yeo Nim. Do you do English education? Um, I don't really do like educational stuff, like as a professional one, because I don't have any expertise in like education itself. So when I make educational video, I should be as careful as possible because education is really important, right? And I would really appreciate if you just see my video as just one of your friends talk about just English as a fun thing, right? Not the professional educational one, right? Yi Jin Hee Nim, have you got any scripts for the videos? Yes, I often uh, write the scripts before filming the videos and I memorize all the scripts and film it. And yeah, if you... I, I, some people say they want to like get the English subtitles, so since I've got my scripts, I would definitely consider putting English subtitles as well. Our next one, uh, William Warrington and Bad British Skaters, <laughs> nice new name, asked me about uh, how Korean age works. So I'm making a video about this one actually, because I thought it would be really nice to tell other people how Korean age works. So I'm making this video, so please uh, wait for this. Uh, please watch it next time. Yeah, and the last one. Keys, Key SS maybe, asked me if I use Instagram. Yes, I do use Instagram. And uh, my username is Korean Belly. It's really easy, right? So you can just find me uh, by typing uh, Korean Belly on Instagram and please follow me. Yes, and that was the Q&A time from me. And thank you so much for your questions and comments again. And again, uh, for the English questions, uh, I've made another video, so please check it out. And I'll come back with the next video. Thank you so much. Bye!